Every talk, every trash talk, every opinion is absolutely reciprocated. I think the same thing of them. You know, as a daughter, mm -hmm. you know, a sister, mm -hmm. um, I just wonder how does a parent mm -hmm. grow such venom mm -hmm. for the only child? Like we have, like me and mom, we ain't perfect. We've yeah. had our arguments or whatever and stuff, but yeah. we have always, I felt like we've been close. You've always yeah. been like the type of parent who's been very forgiving, very loving. Like yeah. I always said that my mom's love is kind of like close to God. Cause like no matter what I do, she is always there for me, no matter what. And she's like judgment free. So I always feel like I am my safest and I am my, I'm like myself the most with my mother right okay. so even though we've had our ups and downs i never feel like there's any tension yeah. but i don't That's know so how a parent gets to a place where they have so much better i'm like cody or where they almost like hate the child yeah. i mean well, listen, let's, talk I don't about know. It. let's talk about it it's mary and Emma. Hey, you guys are like subscribe and comment down below you all because i, I am just like shocked cody said yeah. you know all this shit talking and all this victim and blaming and all this stuff that they're saying about me i feel a, oh and yeah, i feel the same exactly. it's reciprocated yes and he said it with such venom and, and, and disgust hatred. and hatred he really did and i was just, I was like, just like you said it you're actually the, you're like the you're like the parent and I feel as though, I don't know, your children, you know, sometimes a child will go and scream at a parent, I hate you. That has never happened to me. But I used to babysit a lot, and I have <laughs> seen children. I've yeah, heard, we've never I've heard kids mom. say stuff like that, and they run off and they slam the door. But you don't hear the parent doing the same. Yeah. Like, because the parent should be more emotionally mature than the child. Right. And even though these are adult kids, they are still coming into their own. Like, you guys have heard me say many times that I don't really think the kids are grown until they hit the age of 26. That's when, scientifically, that part of their frontal cortex has closed. That's spontaneity and it has, or yeah, whatever. has matured. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that the one that deals with emotions impulse control <laughs> that's when that has developed completely yeah so until the, that that adult is the young adult is 26 as far as i'm concerned i just put it all to that like, once it turns 26 it's a different game you know but i just he has so much he like, has no forgiveness and like no self-awareness like hatred in cody and i don't know if what? it's just this whole thing that's going on with the wives with him that he's like putting on these children. Yeah. You know, like Cody, and then we all know he's not emotionally mature, but, but Cody, you're is, the father. Like, it, it's the irresponsibility is what pisses, continues to piss me off. Yeah. Because you know that emotionally you're not mature, you're irresponsible. Your daddy told you this many times. And then you go and marry four women and have all these kids. But he did all just this when he was a young up all these lives. Like, it's so annoying to me. And now it's like, now that and you, you have realized... tried to grow, you've yeah. had access to a therapist. I, is, I gotta, where is, where is that therapist? Because he seems to be getting worse. Well, I don't think she, anyway. You she know, doesn't work with them anymore. No, I just feel like me with Cody, there's just, the biggest issue any human Ugh. being on the planet can have is not being able to be self fucking aware yes. like, excuse my friend mm. but if you can't be self-aware at all there's no way you're gonna make it in this life because as human beings we no constantly are evolving and growing and if you can't look growing, back though. and be he like regressing he is constantly regressing i know and it's just like it's so horrible because my thing is the way you can even say that oh it's reciprocated you have to do self-analysis what are my kids saying is there some truth to it mm -hmm. okay have i been wrong mm -hmm. if you can't think like that then you would not be sitting down here yeah. on tv talking about how oh um what is it that is reciprocated, the yeah. hateful feelings or whatever the case may be. And then even McKelty, apparently I heard that she was crying on the Patreon. Yeah. Like she wants to wipe her tears and she said, why would he say that on TV? Like on camera. It's the venom that's shocking to her. The man had so much no, venom. No, shocking I to felt me the is hatred that... coming from the screen. Well, like, these are your kids. What I don't get. your kids. I feel like Cody uses the show as therapy. 
Because why? There's, no, there's certain things. That man things. is not in therapy. No, that man has not started no, no healing. No, but this is the only time he spills his truth out. Like, maybe he has mistaken the cameraman as his therapy. Oh, he forgets he, that he's going to be televised. Or whatever. Because my thing is, like, he says some crazy stuff. Like, I've been saying this since season six. Like, yeah. something I just will not put on TV. There's it, something it you will never hear me say. A screw has finally been loosened completely. Because I remember when he was like, I just want to hate her a little bit. I don't know. I think he feels as though this is a TV show. That's why I said like, I know it's a TV show, therapist. but this is your life. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're not in a damn movie, Cody. Like the kids are watching this. They're sitting every he Sunday. Give it him. He's hoping they it. watch it so that he can really stick it to them and then turn the knife oh. and then twist it all the way, then twist it again, and then take it out and just to stab it again. Oh my like, God. <laughs> He does it. He knows that kids are watching because apparently one of our staff said that Mary was watching all last season of it. That's why she came to the realization to move on. And then also Gwen's watching it and Kelsey's watching it. So it's not like you don't know your kids are watching it. And you say this crazy outlandish stuff yeah. that will haunt you for the rest of your life. Now, will my Kelsey, is she going to call him out on any of those? Well, she, she, she said that she does call him out on stuff from time to time. That's what she did say. And what what is his response? I would like to know. I seriously doubt it. She'd probably be like, well, Dad, you know what you said wasn't right. But hey, I love you. I'm bringing yeah, everyone like, over. It might be something quick like that to yeah. then cover it up with some nice <laughs> ice. <laughs> and no, uh, it's just, it's yeah, sad when a parent starts sad. to it's really like have venom or hatred for the child. Especially when you're like at fault. I know. But he takes, you know, Mary said this a long time ago to Christine. No I accountability. Think it was season two. But he will never change. You will have to change yourself. As she sat down there with a with a broken wrist and um had a proper foot up. And I, I bet that man did not come and see if you were okay. Yeah, 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 Mary. <laughs> Listen, that's why when Christine oh looked at that God. chick on the mountain talking about how look at the mountain. Look at the mountain. She said, right. I will never be you. And I that's know, when she like, left that. She's like, oh, I am turning into Mary. That's why she telling me to look at the belt. Because that's what she doing when the man has not come to see her for two can't. years and it's not I giving can't. her any sex for yeah. over a decade. That will not be me. <laughs> and hasn't celebrated my anniversary, birthday, or God, anything in like they said has, five years. Well, it has to be a decade because they haven't been having sex. Because I mean, don't you celebrate an anniversary with that? I don't know. It's, I feel like he's been doing Mary wrong so for almost immature. 20 years. That's why I think. It's, I it's, really it's believe that. There's just a wickedness to that. It's not even irresponsibility anymore. It's just, I don't give an F. No. And um, I don't care if you're my family. My family is Robin and her kids and the two kids that I had with her. That's all I care about. I don't care about none of you. And any other child that comes to me. And I bet you, if my Kelty... If my Kelty makes steps a mistake out of line. and steps out of line, oh. he'll be just as mean to her. That's what she needs to understand. Yeah, because my <sighs> thing is just because, I mean, because that's why I feel like it's so odd that she's so close to him. Because my thing is, how can you sit down there and see what he's doing to your siblings and the pain that they're going through? And you're listening in mm -hmm. day in, day out. Making but excuses you're being for him friends and Robin. Him. And that's why know. he feels like, he doesn't feel any urge to be better because it's like, well, you know, my Kelty, how, you know, if I was that bad, why is she still around? Yeah, you see. So in a way, it's like you're enabling him. I'm really and conflicted Robin. with my Kelty, I'm not gonna lie. But I, I don't think she's a horrible person. I just think no. that maybe she's going to do something. If she's doing this intentionally and she just don't give an F, I then that's so. a different talk yeah. conversation. That's but so. I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt because at the end of the day, this is their family. These are, well, she's not, a, she's a woman now, but still, mm -hmm. it ain't my family. Yeah. But yeah, y'all. It's her it's, daddy, so. Yeah. It's Mary. And Alma. We want you guys to like, subscribe, and comment down below.